Hey guys, this is ViperX420 of PureGlitching.com and the PureG Network. And I've got a special tutorial for some of you guys out there. I've been having a lot of problems trying to get this damn game to work on my PC. And I'm still having problems on two of the PCs. But one of them I've actually finally got working. And it took me forever to figure this shit out. And... Honestly, I don't know what's different between the three PCs, but I'm going to show you right now that I actually have one of them actually running. So, as you can see here, we got PC1, which had virtual PC and stuff like that, and I tried running it on this PC, and this is what I end up getting. And I have to do this. This is with the virtual uh, PC, so I'm running Windows 7 and then Windows XP up here, as you can see, right? And so you can see it. Doing 2000, I click on it, and then I get an error, which we can't see right now. So give me a second. Ugh. Ah, too many PCs. We got to alt tab that somehow. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, there it was too. There was a message. Okay, let's try something here. Uh, compatibility. Yeah, close that. Apply. Okay. And yeah, that compatibility crap does not work. I was just at Windows 95 compatibility, and it still gave me this message right here. This video card does not support the required modes. Which is completely another bull crap. Like, come on, really? This is an update PC with Windows 7 and everything, and still being a dick. So whatever. Beyond that, let's, let's just close that get away from this and then we go to PC number two right and this is my top of the line PC like the best one I have right and I'm gonna try and run the version that I actually got to work on PC number three over here right and I run it and it, it, even the other version I have on this PC over here does the same thing as what this one's gonna do Now, I think I finally figured out the problem to this exact problem for this PC, and that's that I'm using an actual LCD TV instead of an LCD monitor. And so, as you can see, it's all glitchy and everything, and whatever, shit happens, right? Uh, let's exit that. which is taking forever because LCD TV and no that's not what we want to do what we want to do is this so we can close Dune and holy shit lots of Dune dats that didn't close Okay, so those are all closed, everything, whatever. So, top of line PC I got with an i5 processor and everything. Boo, doesn't work. Then, we come over to number three over here. Quit that. And yet again, we're going to open Dune 2000. right there and bam it works now the reasoning for this happening don't ask me why because I don't know 
but as I said, between this PC and this PC, I think it's just because of the TV, TV monitor. So, if you have your PC hooked up to a TV, and you're having that little glitch that I showed earlier for PC2, then all you need to do is go out and buy yourself an LCD monitor, because apparently on my laptop here, using a regular LCD monitor screen, it's actually working, right? TV doesn't work, that works. So, I've got around that. I can play the game now, I'm happy, and it works. So again, just to prove to you it works, I'm just going to start a new game. On this planet, you will die. You might ask yes. why I'm using the cam. Well, for me to do all the editing, to record on one PC to the next but to the, the next, of the it would take forever. So, I just decided to do it like this, to make it easier for you guys to see that it's actually running and working. I am Lady Alara. Bound yeah, you might see better if I go on a better angle, maybe, huh? I booked your passage to Dune on this Highliner. If the Emperor discovers well, this... Well, as you can see, it's running. Executed. Movies and all. Not a compassionate no man. CD in the PC at all. You are here because um, of if you guys want to link has to your and your the copy of Dune I'm using, I will be posting it later. Not right away, but we have also as seen soon as possible, I will be posting the link in the description rabbits. of where you can get it. Um, I will post a site where I found that the copy for now, and then I'll post another link with all the files that I have that you're going to need to get it running. And it's just one installer, basically, and it'll, it'll install everything, and do everything you need, and you'll be good. And as you can see now, I'm at the, the, the screen where I can choose to be a trade, yes. uh, uh, Hawkinen, and the, the other one. A fleet of ensures the so yeah, so it's working, I'm happy. And I'm going to keep testing and make sure it works perfectly fine. It looks great, considering uh, I haven't played this game in years. And this is one of my favorite real-time strategy games. Like, I haven't played this in years, so... I'm going to get to some playing, because... I've been really deprived of this game for years, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more questions or comments on how to fix things um, I'll post to the best of my knowledge um, if I don't know something I will refer, refer to you to a site where they really help people out with this game like they, they, they're still making mods and stuff like that for this game and uh, it's really nice to see that the community is keeping it alive so Till next time, this is ViperX420 signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys around. Take care.